gloves lace, fuck a club date I'm in the 12th round, staring in the dog's face And so far, I've been moving at a slug's pace The ref took away points, and the judge fake I mean, I train hard From the fight that was, uh, gonna determine <clears throat> So to speak Who the top 140 pounder in boxing is We had Devin Alexander We had Timothy Bradley And it made for an interesting fight Maybe a little clash of styles that didn't work in the favor of being uh, an overly exciting fight. Um, there were, you know, obviously there's the headbutt issue. Um, there, you know, Timothy Bradley brought the fight as I thought he would, and Alexander almost seemed as if he couldn't pull the trigger in many opportunities that he had with the way Bradley approached the his offense. And ironically, um, you know, if you if you count the, the copy box at the end of the fight, which I you know, I I'll, I'll get to in a minute, but you know, throughout the course of the fight it just seemed as if Alexander uh, be it maybe his eye, be it his style and not being able to ward off Timothy Bradley, but Bradley landed the cleaner shots. I think he, he threw less and landed about the same, if not just a little less. I think it by one by one uh, punch on the copy box, which you know, if you look at the fight itself, you know, after the, you know w when the fight was stopped. Due to the cut, due to Bradley not being, or excuse me, Alexander not being able to see or seeing his eye was hurting or it was burning from the last headbutt that coincidentally was on the opposite side of the cut. Um, and you know, fight was stopped. You know, you, you know, they they went to a technical decision and Bradley got the win. Now, again, based on the copy box number. Um, if you had not watched the fight, you would have probably thought, wow, okay, uh, Alexander looked like he should have won this fight. Well, this was a scenario where they had, the judges had to score the fight at times on who the aggressor was because though Timothy Bradley landed the cleaner shots, there were a lot of times where he was just throwing punches and the accuracy wasn't there. There was no set up combinations there was no jab to set up you know his punches and you know Bradley you know like I said he he's he's a tough dude he keeps keeps coming and I think he's a tough fight for anybody but I I'm still I, I'm not sure what'll happen with the fight with Amir Khan um the power, how much power does he have? He hit Alexander with some shots, and the, I don't think any of those shots really had Alexander buckled at any point in time, and, and vice versa with, with Alexander to Bradley. So it made for a lackluster fight, but it wasn't the worst fight in the world. It, I think what made the fight bad in the, in, in the eyes of a lot of people who were really geeked for the fight is, you know, just the way it ended. You know, technical decision, you know, obviously after the fourth round, you got to go to the scorecards, and whoever the winner was at that point, you know, or wh whoever the judge had winning, is the winner of the fight. And, you know, some of the scorecards really, I think, were maybe a little too lopsided, but, again, this is, I think they had to, to judge certain rounds on who the aggressor was, you know, because none, neither of them were landing any clean punches or, you know, because Alexander was really almost fighting backwards the entire fight and would land like pity pack combinations, but there were a lot of opportunities for him to land that uppercut that apparently was his bread and butter. Um, Bradley at times was just swinging away and really, instead of leaning in to try to, to counter... 
Bradley in that situation, you know, maybe the easier the easier way is to back up and uppercut him. Since he was coming in the whole time and being that he was leaning in, causing the headbutts, I think an adjustment could have been made there and we really didn't see that from Alexander. I mean he just kept it kept happening, you know, and unfortunately we didn't get um an action packed fight, though I didn't think it would be like super action packed, but you know, it was what it was. <laughs> so, uh, now Bradley goes on to fight, uh, I, I'm assuming Amir Khan. Amir Khan has a fight in April. And they can set that fight up, I guess, in July. August or something. Unless, you know, the whole money situation gets into, the, you know, into, uh, into play. But as far as Timothy Bradley's concerned, he seems as if he wants to fight any and everybody, which is great. You know, is he ready to fight Manny Pacquiao, like they were mentioning? I don't think so. <laughs> not, not yet. Maybe not ever, really. But um, uh, we'll see what happens with him. I think uh, for Alexander, he's got to fight Marcos Maidana, yo. <laughs> That's an interesting fight. Very interesting fight because, again, and I've said this before about Alexander, man, he just, there's something about him that, I think when the going gets tough, like somebody made, an, uh, um, I forgot if it was one of these videos I seen today or something, but somebody made a perfect uh, analogy of, uh, or comparison, mind you, of uh, what Alexander could be, and that's Jermaine Taylor, where Taylor just at some point just, you know, couldn't pull the trigger and couldn't get the job done, man. And he just went through a string of losses just like that after his first loss. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen with, with Alexander, but um, I thought it was pretty interesting uh, in comparison. But Alexander, yo, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in his next fight. I think there's got to be some major, 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 you know, reconstruction as far as how you approach certain scenarios in the fight, you know, overcoming adversity, you know, I mean, we take example, Miguel Cotto slashed to shit from his eye in the second round, worse cut than this, and he kept fighting through, man, you know, and, and I think that really, that's an intangible that you can't get in the gym, and I think he proved that, like, under adversity, that magnitude, man, like, he folds, so... I don't think they're going to rematch with Bradley Alexander. So, I mean, I think this is, we got what we got. So, as I always say, man, uh, subscribe, hit up the podcast, therobreportshow.blogspot.com. Also, robertoflackchronicles.com. You can check out all the music, all the new videos and whatnot. And uh, check out all the links, Twitter, with all your stupid shit. So, again, I'll be back soon.